to Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. Um, on this week's video, you catch me on my way to my final swimming lesson. That's right, I've been having some lessons with James Ewart of twobeatkick.com um, and it's been fantastic. I've been taking lessons because I'm self-taught um, at freestyle, uh, having done it via YouTube and using videos and just trying to approximate what I saw in the videos. So I thought, you know, I think I've not been able to go on a holiday this year, so uh, maybe I'll invest some cash in having a, um, uh, some lessons. So I've been having one-to-one -one lessons and today is the final one. Um, and I feel like I'm almost graduating. So it's, I'm pretty excited to get there for this one, which is miles away from how I was feeling about going to my first one, because I felt pretty nervous, to be honest. You might be wondering why I was feeling nervous about going for a swim, because I've, I've been swimming a long time, and uh, for as long as I can remember, really and swimming distance for quite a number of years now. Um, but I was nervous because I've never had anybody look at my swimming before. So much like anything, I felt a little bit like I was going for an exam. So that very first session I went to where um, James was doing a, a 90 minute analysis of my stroke, I thought, well, blimey, uh, given that he knows what he's looking at, that's probably going to take him about three minutes, to be honest, to figure out what's going on. But what I really enjoyed was the um, the approach that James took. He explained that it was that it's a bit of a puzzle, and we'll try and fit the pieces together um, by working on the problems and um, figuring out what felt right and what what needs to change, and to help me to be more critical and self analyze what was going on so he it was kind of a team effort so on the very first one um, 90 minutes sounded pretty daunting uh, and although fit enough to swim that long um, I was thinking that was going to be uh, quite nerve-wracking but in actual fact he put me at, at my ease straight away and explained that he was going to use a GoPro and a, a, an iPad to video and that we'd stop frequently to take a look at, at different aspects of it and see what had been found and then work on improvements. So it wasn't anything like 90 minutes of swimming. I'd say it was probably more like 20 or 25 minutes of swimming um, on that very first session just to kind of get, get a handle on, on what was going on and uh, draw a baseline to start from. So to start with, on the first session, James asked me what I thought the thing was that I needed to sort out the most. And to Frank, I'd not really thought about it because I didn't know exactly what front crawl was supposed to look like. And um, so I didn't really know also what my swimming looked like. But I thought maybe it had something to do with my legs because I was struggling to breathe on my left side. So I thought maybe my legs were going too low and I was upset on the balance. So. Um, the other thing he asked me is why I wanted to take any training in the first place and my answer to that was well I'd just like to be better at swimming I'd like to, it to take less effort and for me to go further for the same effort you know almost the peachiest thing of any kind of uh, endurance sport is to be able to do more for less so that was my my aims really so looking on the the video at our first break Breath holding, bit of a blast. Breath holding, big blast, followed by survival gasp. Head position superb there. Get yourself into some really good positions under the water. Except when you're breathing. Coming back here, we can see that how exaggerated it is on the left. And for someone who is breathing that hard, you look super comfortable. 
but that does really negatively impact your stroke. Um, it turned out that it's not my legs that's the issue, but apparently I don't breathe right. So having reached, what, 46 years of age, it would appear that I'm breathing wrong. So that was a fairly big one to try to sort out. But the comforting thing was that James said, actually, normally we'd identify one, maybe two big things, and then there's other little bits around the edges that we iron out, which make for a better swimmer. So um, we started work on, the, on breath work and trying to sort out um, the fact that I was almost doing survival breathing and really blasting the air out um, and then not having emptied my lungs enough to be able to breathe at the point where I needed to breathe and, uh, and there was a lot of work to do to be honest. So for the last five weeks we've been working on that as well as arm recovery. It's pretty much been upper body stuff that we've been working on. Um, so my breathing, what's going on with my head, my arms and use of video and being able to stop every couple of lengths or even every few drills which which have only been a few meters long with either James in the water with me or showing me video evidence which is obviously undisputable has been really great because then I can also compare back to what I've been doing and the nice thing is after each session he sends me the videos with little bits marked up on them so I know what it was that I was doing and how to correct it and um, importantly which bits to keep and what was going well so I'm looking forward to today's session uh, being the last one we're starting to look at tempo training so I think I'm gonna have something on my head which gives a beat to swim to I'm not really sure what that's all about but it will help me to swim a bit quicker which um, is always going to be good to cover that distance a little bit quicker it means that I won't get as cold in the water and uh, importantly I can have my cake quicker let's head on in Lovely patient arms, yeah. So we picked up the tempo, focused on the patient arms. And you can see at the slightly higher tempo, your body is really well connected there, those hips and shoulders. Well, that was an excellent session. I have really enjoyed my six sessions with James. And uh, today we worked on better arm recovery. So improving it, even it was fairly rubbish to start with right back when I started. It's getting better and there's still things I need to focus on. But what I like is the bite-sized chunks so that when I'm doing these longer training swims, apart from anything else, it keeps me entertained thinking about my stroke and what I need to focus on. So for me, it's focusing on the position of my head for the breathing and what's going on with my arms on the recovery. Um, and I'm sure there was one other thing, but it's gone out of a clean gone out of my mind there. Anyway, I'm sure when I receive my videos later on, I'll be able to figure that out. So lots and lots for me to continue to work on. But today I had a go with the, the tempo trainer, the little beepy thing inside my hat to try to improve the speed to see if you can up the cadence. And I think that's going to be fantastic. So I think that might be my next swimmy purchase is to buy one of those for further pools, a pool or um, flat water entertainment. For trying to just gain that little bit extra speed for the same amount of strokes. I'm really excited about my swim journey and I can't recommend enough taking some, uh, some lessons and really getting some time to focus in on what you do in the pool, what your hands are doing, what your elbows are doing and importantly that um, the recovery and the breathing is all sorted. It, it's really making a huge difference and it's reinvigorated my enjoyment of the longer swims I'm doing. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and that me sharing the insights that I got from my swim training will help you decide if it's something that you'd like to take up as an adult who can already swim. There's lots of different ways to do it though. You don't have to have one-to-one -one tuition like I did. You could go and join a tri club. You could go to an open water venue and speak to them about the training that's available there with their uh, qualified coaches. Um, or, like I did, you could Google it and find a coach that way. The kind of swimming that I looked for when I was Googling it was total immersion swimming. If you did enjoy it, please consider giving it a like and dropping me a comment and letting me know if you're thinking about taking some swim training as well. And 
I really love it if you'd subscribe and join me for the journey. Just click on my face, ding the little bell and you'll know where the next one's out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.